Christian is a member of God's family. One of the helpful changes to our modern prayer books is the emphasis on our oneness in the family of God. We affirm we are children of the same Heavenly Father. We welcome you. Or we are brothers and sisters in Christ's family. We eat and drink together as we gather round the Lord's table at Holy Communion. We are all adopted by God into one family. Like any family, we can try to isolate ourselves. But that is to our loss, and certainly temporary. In heaven we will be with a great multitude from every tribe and language. Being in God's family is very real for me. I can go through a long list of places all over the world where I have been welcomed as a member of God's family and given all the help they could give, like a place to stay, a lift, and even in scary situations when I have been stopped at gunpoint to discover one of the soldiers knew me as a pastor and persuaded the others to let me through the roadblock. We're a member of a vast family, numbling around a third of the world's population. There is no country without a family member, although in some they must keep that fact secret. One of the best ways I have found that helps me understand I'm a member of God's family is the teaching in the Bible about the Holy Spirit. When we accept Christ as our Lord and Saviour, the Holy Spirit enters us in a very special way, enabling us to be born again or adopted into the family of God. Using the language of modern genetics, it is God's gene or DNA being implanted in us. God's gene brings about changes in our life just as our other genes determine our physical appearance, strengths and weaknesses. So God the Holy Spirit brings about the character of God in our life. The Bible calls it the fruit of the Spirit. Fruit naturally grows from the type of tree, like an apple tree. So the Spirit produces in us Godly behaviour, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. These spring from within us. They're not like clothes we put on to hide our real self underneath. The Holy Spirit of God within us is our God DNA that even when we physically die, marks us out as a family member, welcomed into our heavenly home. This is why it is so important we ask for help if we have any doubt that the Holy Spirit lives in us. It also means that we should, like drinking water for our bodies, daily seek to be filled by the Holy Spirit. One of the wonderful benefits of the internet is that we can communicate with our Christian family all over the world. We can help each other in so many ways. And as we do, the great divide that those outside Christ have, like race, nationality, wealth or poverty, fall away. This is wonderful news. We are indeed the one family of God, now and for eternity.